Bitch, I had, bitch, I was finna do four drives and shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got two. Bitch, I ain't gotta do shit. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, I could, bitch, buy me a big ass, stupid ass train right now, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? First, look. This nigga finna take this shit for the project. School coming up. Boom. They eat. I played football for Pump No Cheese. When I was legit, look, hey, look, man, boy, boy, nigga got ready to put a hundred K, like, New Jersey, fresh Jersey, everything about the field. Okay, they say they approved it, boom, 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 last minute, they hit me. Now, how y'all finna do a nigga like this, bitch, I'm the face of pumping up, like, like, the kids love me, like, you know what I'm saying, they, they fucked up about me, you know what I'm saying, yeah. y'all ain't, y'all fucking my head up, but y'all hurting the kids, you know what I'm saying, cause, now I'm about to say, fuck that shit. I'm going to keep all my money. You know what I mean? Yeah, bitch, I could have, bitch, I could have did some shit for my people, though. My, bitch, my homies. My niggas out there, bitch, who, <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck that. Fuck all this shit. I had a couple boxes going to Asian. But now I'm going to send all this shit there. I don't know, ain't no, ain't no, uh, compromise. You can do it over here. What's up, fans? Welcome back to the channel. And shout out to the notification gang, gang gang. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe because this is what we do and we do it daily. So hit that sub button. So we got to talk about this one, fans. And you guys know sometimes I can be pretty hard on Kodak Black, right? Pause on that one. He does a lot of ignorant things, man. Now, we ain't even going to talk about the whole ski mask situation, man. That was just ignorant as hell. But there's a lot of things that Kodak Black does that I, I like as well. I love it when he tries to give back to his community. He's one of those people that I can actually tell he cares about the people within his community. Now, if you're an op, uh, he may want to shoot you with a few snipers or something. But, but like Martin, Kodak Black loves the kids. So a situation went down where, you know, he was trying to set up like backpack giveaways and he was just going to be just giving away a bunch of stuff to the kids. And it was going down on Saturday the 12th, which is yesterday, right? I'm guessing people wasn't really having it because the whole thing got shut down. And this is what Kodak Black had to say about the situation. He first shows a, a text message and it says, just so you know, the city didn't shut it down. The property manager in GTA called the police and told them to shut it down. I personally think we should set it up for next weekend and get a permit. We can't let them stop you from doing something good for the community. Kodak Black responds with, I don't care who shut it down. It was approved for me to be there. So no duty cop can shut it down. And if the blame is on the property manager approving it, that's some real evil ish. Oh, you knew me since I was a baby. I've been in the projects all my life. We never needed a permit to bring them DJ systems out. Reminds me of the football organization. I was just trying to put together for the kids with no profit in return, regardless of my background or how you feel about me, you hurting the kids. There's always someone who owned these projects or apartments and they're always stopping the rapper from coming by. Hell, Yo Gotti got banned recently from an apartment complex that he used to live in. Like he can't even go there anymore. He's not selling drugs out there. He's not shooting anyone outside. He just wants to go there to show inspiration to the people that live there that they can make it up out of that. But it's like those same people who own those spots. They don't want that to happen. I don't get it. Why does the person that owned that project want to stop that? But it seems like the richer they get, the more the people try to prevent them from coming back. You guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I just hope Kodak Black doesn't stop doing good things for its people. And I hope it doesn't change him. Anyway, I'm Dama's Live and I'm out.